You know, in uh, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, that primary text of the yoga tradition, he says that there are two main uh, or two core principles that upon which the entire um, yogic system rests. And one of those is called in Sanskrit abhasya. It, has, it means practice. And we've been putting a lot of focus all the time. We emphasize practice and the importance of practice. And the other principle is called in Sanskrit vairagya. And that means non-attachment. And it's these two together, like two oars in a boat, that allow us to row to the shore of awakening. These two principles are the, up, are the essence, the foundation upon which all of yoga rests. Now practice, Patanjali says, and as you know from your own experience, practice is about persistent effort. And it's about persistent effort and focus on attaining, in this case, and sustaining, in this case, meditative consciousness. That's what practice is for. It's to attain a basic meditative stage and to sustain that meditative stage. It's mindful, it's intentional, it has a, has a special quality of continuity of effort. And it also is supported by an attitude. As the Buddhists say, attitude is all. And the attitude is vairagya. The attitude is that of non-attachment. Our attitude frames, our attitude shapes, our attitude informs, and our attitude structures at a very deep level the nature of our practice. If we're practicing with a gaining idea, I'm going to get something, I'm going to get something, and when I get this thing, whatever it is, this state of consciousness, it's going to like prove something and uh, reveal something and give me something. Vairagya is this attitude of non-attachment, of letting go. And we practice with a letting go attitude, a practice of uh, non-attainment in a sense with no gaining idea in mind, but rather fully engaging in the practice for its own sake. So practice, the practice element, the practice or, is about going for it, that persistent and intentional effort. The vairagya, which is our focus now, is the non-attachment, the letting go attitude. And together it's like one and one equals three. It's when they come together, that the really the capacity building begins to truly deepen and unfold. The capacity to reside as radiance. Letting go, vairagya, non-attachment, allows you to witness and to unlatch from any particular mind state, not to cling to a good meditation, but to go deeper. I'm reminded of Otis Redding, sitting by the dock of the bay, sitting by the dock of the bay. You watch the tide roll away. You watch the thoughts. They roll in and they roll out. And this is the attitude of non-attachment. It's to step back. And Vairagya allows us to see thoughts as thoughts, not to see through the thoughts, not to see through our beliefs, but rather to see them as thoughts and as beliefs. We can pick them up, they color the world in a particular way, but with vairagya we can let them go. With non-attachment we can let them go. I meet people every day who when they learn that I teach meditation, say to me, I wish I could meditate, but I can't. I've tried. Maybe you're like them. You know meditation works that it's good for your body, your mind, your spirit, but you struggle to establish your own meditation practice. But the reason that people struggle isn't because they can't meditate. It's because of the way meditation is taught. It just doesn't work for most people. <sighs> At Wisdom Heart, we teach the timeless practices in a timely way. Every week, Wisdom Heart members receive a curated teaching in video, audio and text focused on an essential spiritual theme. 
concepts like cultivating joy, gratitude, and letting go of struggle. Along with the teachings, there's a daily guided meditation that takes you deeper into the peace, the presence, and the power of meditative awareness. But Wisdom Heart isn't just one-way communication. Every month, there's a live community call where Davy and I answer your questions and show you how to weave the wisdom into your unique life situation. Wisdom Heart members tell us that they love our approach, that it's inspiring, deep, and practical, all delivered with love and humor. Come over to wisdomheart.com. We'd love to have you join us.